natural capital is a, a way of trying to, to measure or quantify the benefits that we get from the environment. So the idea is that you, you've got some way of measuring the value of natural features that you might otherwise lose and they have weight in, in the decisions that are made. Water is part of our natural capital. It's needed for businesses, recreation and critically for us to survive. Biodiversity is part of our natural capital and from this we get goods and services so we get things like pollination and food production, we get a, a healthy soil ecosystem which helps with the growing of plants. Wildlife is part of our natural capital. We've understood for quite a long time now that in order for wildlife to benefit we need to look at habitats and we need them to be bigger, better. Once we do that, we're also enhancing the amount of natural capital available, so that might be a greater reservoir of pollinators available to pollinate crops. It might be that we're managing a habitat such as a river for wildlife, so we're renaturalising it, connecting it with its floodplain. I'm Martin Moore, I'm a freshwater fisheries contractor. I'm involved in a little bit of fish farming, fish contract work for angling clubs and habitat improvement work. So I work with nature and the fish are obviously a natural organism but everything else around the river affects the way the fish respond to the environment. It's a complex system, it's all interwoven and if you get one thing out of tune it does affect other things in the system. My name is Simon Porter and I farm at Pencroft in North Hampshire. Our philosophy of farming at Pencroft is to make full use of the natural assets that are already here in place. The soil, the cropping, the insects and the flora and fauna that is already on the farm. The more we can work with them and make use of them, the less and less we have to use inorganic means of farming. So we will use the soil, we will condition the soil, we will encourage the soil, we will use the earthworms in the soil. So we will chop straw and leave residue on the ground to feed our earthworms so that they grow and they multiply and they will do their work, which is to aerate the soil and to bring organic matter into the soil. what I would call critical natural capital, might be um, an ancient species-rich grassland. We can't get those back. They are there because they have developed and become richer and richer in species for many centuries. So they have a very high value as far as natural capital goes. Mainly because they are irreplaceable, but old, ancient, species-rich grasslands that are packed with wildflowers provide us with all sorts of benefits, like they feed our pollinators, for example. They provide us with amazing things to look at that make life worth living.